Mr. Aidbalogun. I'm a movie maker and entertainer generally. That's what I do. Um, I started as a raga musician. May his soul rest in perfect peace of late father U-turn. I mean, both of us then in the lorry singing raga, I mean, trying all along. But again, then I was acting too. He wanted to be the best actor. I wanted to be the best singer then. But I mean, nature, nature changed things around, you know. So that's it. And today people accuse me, they say, ah, Saeed, you sing Fuji. I said, I'm trying to be who I am. You see, I have never, you can never walk in the street. You see the American rappers trying to sing our song. No, it is we, we are the bunch of copycat. So I'm trying to be who I am. I mean, I'm telling them my Ruth is beautiful. There is beauty in my culture. That's what I'm trying to do. That's why I sing Fuji. I don't care. I don't care the way they think, the way that I, I am, I sing traditional music. Uh, you see, two things I will say. People are free to their opinion. It's, I'm going to offend you at this point. It's a private issue that I will keep private. You people should not forget one thing. We have our kids there coming up whatever we say today is like putting your history into archive so i like to keep it to myself people have had enough about it they know about it divorce is divorce ask her she will say the i mean what will favor her ask me and i will say the same thing but i don't want to dive into that let it be this is who i am now whatever feeling everybody keep well done the good thing is pray for me pray for her pray for our kids and that is it. Because as we are entertainer, we are your past, we are your present, we are your future. How do we do that? We remind you of your past. We help you shape your present with our stories and we tell you what your future may be with our stories. So pray for it. It happens everywhere. You celebrating the divorce because we are entertainers. We are in the light of the world. And that's it. Whoever said that at this jet age, I read it on the blog and I'm laughing. I said, you bloggers, you're making the black people, I mean, African Nigerians to the other race look somehow. You don't take people to court because of a name. I'm not the only Balogun in the whole world. I don't know where they got the story from, but some people want to sell. Some even bloggers, they will write the blog. They will write the answer themselves because I ask myself, can people buy this kind of story? And I'm too big for that. I am too, too, too big. What I have to tell the whole world, what I want to become in the future, I mean, too many things on my shoulder than to be dragging myself in the mud going to court overnight. The Lord says, when the time come, thou shalt hear. By the time come, when the time comes, you shall hear. Definitely, I won't be alone for now. Is it possible? I'm not Jesus. I'm not Muhammad. Even my Lord Muhammad, Salah Ali Wazala, had them before he left. So, I'm okay. When the time comes, we shall all see. The Yoruba says, Tasiko no abadi, bubu juniori. Let's keep it. You see, we have more than 2,000 producers, 3,000 directors. We're all writing stories. All stories have been told. We have to be creative to tell people who brings out money to buy our product that we are thinking well. I just want to be creative, do things out of the box so that we, Nigerian, as a Nigerian, do you know my dream? When you tell some people, other is you're from Nigeria or you're in Nigerian, they look at you, they'll be like, ah, fraud, this, that. I am, my own dream, the, what I want to build is, things I want to do, my kind of movie, if you tell somebody I have done something well, something great, they will say, are you a Nigerian? Are you from Nigeria? That's the kind of dream I'm nurturing. We should all thank God, I am the first black in the history of Africa to do a two cast. That is why they call us the giant of Africa. Not by name, we should try to act it and actualize it. And that is why you see me doing three casts. 
doing Ankara, I did wanna where we have Caucasian actors. I'm the only black boy. I have one movie, I've done one cast. I have one movie, 4,000 cast without a word. How is it possible? The white people were able, they were able to create light cast, all these good things because they felt, let's get out of the bus, let's do it. And that is the way I am thinking for now. Do things out of the box. Think well. Tell those who are buying your product, well done. The movie is like a f it's like food. It depends. High quality movie. You spend three hundred million US dollar, convert it to naira. You have one times fifty. Blah 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 blah. We have low budget movie, five hundred thousand naira. I mean three thousand dollars to three four hundred million dollars. It depends on the standard and if the funds are available. Like the two casts, I did it in my language, Yoruba. We spent more than six million naira. Two people, because the equipment, everything, we have to spend more. And that's it. So it's, if you want good standard, you spend good money. But the question I keep asking myself is, I am a black man by birth and inclination. In my country, if I spend 400 million naira, can I make it back? Now let me give you an example. Nollywood in Nigeria, entertainment in Nigeria, is in the air. The federal government, they're not passing any law. The senators are there. The House of Reps are there. No law in entertainment. Two months before constitutional conference, we, we, I mean, we generated so much money that the president came on air to say it to the old world. We're making much money from Nollywood. The constitutional conference got there. Nothing was mentioned also ever on entertainment. That is my country for you. So if you spend too much money on, on movie in Nigeria, how do you make your money back? And don't get one thing wrong. I'm saying it boldly now. If you produce a movie, if you are from Africa, Nigeria, it will be hard for you to get into U.S. cinema. It will be hard for you to get into Indian cinema. And why is that so? I don't know. They're trying to protect that. Warner Bros. might have got all the cinemas in the United States of America for the whole year. So what do you want to say? So you're now spending 600 million naira here. I'm not a dreamer. I, live on, I believe in reality, the truth. Nothing but the truth. If you spend too much here, it will be hard. But special thanks to companies who are supporting us. They too have their own. You are not the only person. They want to go into music. They want to go into that. So they can't put all egg into one basket. So spending much money in Nigeria, I look at my colleague when they spend billions, I say, hey, where will you make it from? But once they pass a good law on piracy, give us a good structure. There and then we know where we are going. You see, there's an uh, there's one Yoruba saying, which is T or E mi uba bunjewa mo jengotami. If your friend did not give you food, you will be first to eat from your enemy's sport. What does that mean? Good. In the context of uh, getting money there from government. There are some people, they get money from government. It's just, it's not that they're happy. <laughs> they, want their, they want to actualize their dream. But at times, there are good people, there are good government. You go to them, you source for money from them. Because... I mean, I went to uh, a state government and the, I told the Commissioner of Culture that I said, I am here to ask for my right. I mean, you have some vote on entertainment and on movie. Give it to me. And she said, yeah, you are right. She gave it out. So in the federal government, they have money there. State government, there are money voted for entertainment. When you go, if you write the right proposal and they see the genuity in your dream, they may help you. They can give. It's not that you are a politician. It's different from when you are campaigning for a candidate. When you believe in the dream of one candidate, it's, it's a, these are two parallel lines. I have a movie, you're right. That does not make you campaign for the candidate. Mm -mm, it's not an automatic ticket. If you think after spending the resources, is doing well in other fields, like good road, education, you can say, okay, I believe in this dream, let's go do it. And some artists do it for real. They love possibly the governor, the senator, the president. They love them. They want to do it. Whatever is doing wrong, they, they think he can still do better. But some are doing it for, bros, I must chop. Don't blame them. It's the situation of the country.
-hmm. Uncountable, like for me now, I am the president of the Golden Movie Ambassador of Nigeria. Movie ambassadors. If you've done movie before, if you know you have it all, if you know you are Igbo, you are Hausa, you are proud of what you've done, you are an ambassador. Okay, That's what I'm you founded that one. Right? Not me. People did, and they made me the president. Okay. We have associations like that, many of them. The federal government, I am begging them, let Amaka Igwe, Jideko Soko, a lot of them came together from Mopicon to put the artist under one umbrella. The federal government didn't do anything. Recently, they gave actors guilds that are representing some set of people, land. People were screaming, and the Yoruba says, "Don't scream." They also said, "Don't scream." We two will go and meet Mr. President. He will give us our own. He will give us our own. He's going to give the Golden Movie Ambassador their land to. He's going to give the Ariwas their land to. Because before you do things, do your investigation. I love my president. He's a nice man. He's like a mother of all. He loves us. But I am begging them, do your investigation properly. The man will say, "Okay, you artist, you are like." You, I want you to spread our gospel. So he's going to embrace everybody. He's a nice man. So Did you are losing the, act, the actors guild as we speak right now. I don't know. You, a lot of people in actors guild. So who went to get the land? Oh, their president, uh, uh, Ibirisima. She got it. Yeah, she's she's doing well. And I'm going to tell you who God as a president too. I'm doing well. I'm going to go to the president, and I'm sure he's my daddy. Who want to tell the whole world? Said is not doing well. He wants to tell you what well, I'm doing well too. Give you an example. Nollywood at 20 was celebrated by Producers Guild Association of Nigeria. AGN. The minister came. And you are giving Actors Guild land. So the producers will still come. Where was the minister when he was given? You're a movie producer yourself. Yeah. Were that's you part of the Nollywood at 20 celebration. No, we're not 20 now. Well, we've started, that is their own dream. Tolu Anile, who brought about the revolution they are saying, was 24 years then. So what are we talking about? Where are you talking of busy daughter of the river, Jabadu, Ajani Ogun in the late 70s, celebrating 2020 of what? Palongo dancing or what? It's 20 celebrating that we are, our movie, the standard is not even matching the international, international one. So what are we celebrating? 20 at what? But everybody just want one thing to the other. Possibly they are celebrating that name, Nollywood at 20. Mm -hmm, I believe that because that name just came newly. But if they are saying revolution, who? So maybe Nollywood is the umbrella that puts all the associations. Together. In the beginning, no. Uh -huh. if you, if, okay, we even agreed. If we, are, we, we are agreeing to that. Now that Federal if you want to make everybody in Nollywood, I'm one. Let's have one president. We two do it. I've asked myself. The senators who are in charge of entertainment, they didn't pass any bill on entertainment. For how many years now? 14 years. I don't know what is going on. As of rep, I don't know what is going on. So why do you think there's this so much disparity, no unity among all of you? Even if they give you Nollywood, it's still not something that all of you... Thank you. It's like when a father who is the head of the house has about nine kids and you leave the kids to dance around, they do and undo. They are all... But if you unify them, I throw it back to the federal government. Let's look at the video of the land giving. We have more than 21 actors in our land, about 3,000 stars. How many came to Asurok that day? Yorubas are the largest. How many came? To so which actors guild? It, it's beginning to sound like actors guild does not involve any Yoruba person. It does. It's weight. It does involve Hausa and Yoruba. But out of 10, 21,000 Hausa, when it involves about 30, so it's representing all. In movie ambassador, now I have about 24 English artists. Does it mean it's representing everybody? In the Ariwa too, they have. A lot of associations have different bodies. So, and I'm not, I believe my president, some people are saying he gave to South South because it's South South. I said no. He gave to those who he see. If I go there now, you will know he's a nice man. Everybody goes there and collect their own land. Yeah, those who have gone to the man who is a father of all law, I can I say it any day, anytime. The way he talks, you see, he's a gentleman. By the time my own come, he's going to give me land. Just watch. <laughs> Are you reversing the president? I am not. I'm asking for my right now. Father of all will not give to one child and leave others now. <laughs> they will give to me. I give to everybody. And that takes me to different things different people do in the movie industry these days. You know, you see, maybe your friend goes to Arabe Shola. 
you know, you go to uh, the mm-hmm. opponent, oppo- you know, the opponent coming in the next election, and then different people go to different people. Maybe that's one of the reasons that's causing the disunity. No, 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 no. Because, let me tell you one truth. Mm-hmm. Let them pass law on piracy. Because we also saw you yeah, with Eric Beshola doing campaign. Oh, don't drag me back. I didn't start today. The days of... Uh, Chinubu, the days of Remy Adiku, the days of Olusha Gumimiko, the days of Niger, governor of, of Mina. My, I, 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 I started my campaign during the days of SDP. Alaji Nuruddin Yusuf Ike Jadiar, and then I led the entertainment campaign. Gone, done, done, long ago. I'm, but I'm, but I'm, I'm sorry to cut you. I'm bothered. If Omishore wins in, in uh, Ocean State, I'm not saying it will happen like that. Does it mean you will now change? And they start uh, following a missionary. I am. If I want anything in the state, it has nothing to do with who is governing them. I'm an actor. I'm an entertainer. So that means me also campaign for missionary. Mm-hmm. I can't for listen, seven. Listen, listen, listen. Don't mix it up. Okay. In a game, some win, some lose. I know my dream. I have my dream. If you go to war today, you lose. You prepare for another day. If you go, if you see a soldier who goes to war on Monday, he lost. The come to the other world is not a soldier. I am a soldier. My name is Balogun. Check my name out. Sahid. Sahid Ali is a warrior of Muhammad. Balogun. That's the warrior of Ibadan land. So I can. I'm a gentleman in war. I'm a warrior. But he's the one currently bankrolling. Yeah. He is not bankrolling. Let's, let's, let's. Wait. See, I have my business. Somebody who has done the two cars, done to. My field is too wild. It's like a sky. I don't need any politician to do whatever anybody does for me. Check my movie. A lot of companies have sponsored. So, <laughs> are they politicians? No. Right, Wolf, we tell anybody who cares to listen, I cannot make you a millionaire. It is what you know how to do that will make you a millionaire. Hmm. That's good. So, finally, let's just compare Nigeria, movie industry with other, you know, rising movie industries across the globe. In Africa, would you read Nigeria, movie industry as number one? Ah, eh, yes. Uh, I don't don't let people come and stole me. Number one of what? For where? <laughs> They're not but, there. but they say we are the largest movie producing country. We or, are or maybe number two. Yeah. Yes, we are the largest home video. Mm-hmm. Grade three producers in the world. What do you mean, grade three? Ah, when you are doing a film with uh, a film that cannot be shown internationally, there's something they call future films. In the history of Nigeria in the last five years, six years, we've not shot feature films for four. You cannot mention four feature films. Including the one you produced. Those are not future films. They are digital films. My colleague knows what we call future films. They know what we're talking. When they talk of future films, we know. I'm, I won't deceive you now on the sake of I want to play big boy. I want to tell you I'm one of the best story. I urge. We've not started yet. Egypt will give you 15, 30 future films in one year. So what do you think is But they just said, we, you know what they call home video? Mm. The you know, low grade, low money. If I spend, how much now? Like 50 million naira on a movie or 100 million, to what I've tried. Compared to the US movie, they spend 300 million. Compared to India, where they have, they've produced 700 films, the least spent is about $90 million. So... Where are we getting the largest for? Chinese have done this agent. So the largest of three, what? Of what? You, you guys know how? Home video. Bokuluwe. Ah, Usabiam. Papa, Pauti Dobe. Yes, we are the largest. Yes, yes. Two, two weeks, 42 films. So far. That is it. Pirates are just, their stomach are protruding. Yes, that is it. You see us telling story. One person produced comedy sells. The next 72 films is comedy. Bam. One person produced one film itself, the next several hundred films is one film. <laughs> we are there. <laughs> we are always there. Up Nigeria, Nigeria for you. <laughs> Finally, what is the future for the Nigerian movie industry? Do you see Nigeria getting there soon, making future movies? Yeah, the future to me, yeah, we'll soon get there. Revolution is coming in every way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a lot of activists now springing up. You see Pastor Bakari, Professor Wally Shuyinka. Dr. Joe Dumai King coming up. They are, they, they, are, they are spreading the gospel. What do those ones that activists have to do in movie making? Because they are revolutionizing the country. By the time we to start our own, saying enough is enough. Bros, don't call me the name I'm not. Don't call me any name. We unify ourselves. Know our onions. Ready to learn. Give ourselves the deserved respect. 
not by taking pictures and the blog all the time. Do the right thing at the right time and fight the right battle. Like I've said it, I repeat again, I love all those in charge, the senators, the House of Rep, in charge of entertainment. I curse any artist, if those, anyone, I mean, put in that committee who wants to contest that campaign for another artist should be stoned because they did not shape my future. They are just there for years. They did not pass any law in Paris that can make me make money. So if we pick revolution like those people are picking now, they will listen. Have we marched to Abuja? Like the way Dr. Joe does march all the time. Have we said, it's Abu Zobu, let's go, we want you to pass law. We've not done that now. All we do is campaign for the governors and local government who cannot even fight my cause. Ashe, nuwajo, koni wala.